Hi, this is Super MLM Man on the beach of Waikiki talking to people about multi-level marketing. So our first guest this afternoon is Lisa from guess where? Draper, Utah. <laughs> Lisa, have you ever heard of multi-level marketing? Yes. What companies have you heard of? Oh, the little vitamin store. I can't remember the name in <laughs> little, Utah. Utah. Have you ever heard of a company called New Skin? New Skin. New Skin. <laughs> I've heard of New Skin. Little company in Provo, Utah. Yes. Have you heard of any other network marketing companies or multi-level marketing companies? Mm, no. Have you ever been involved in one? No. What do you think about them? If you get in on the top, you're pretty good. If you get in on the top, you're pretty good. <laughs> so have you ever thought about getting in on the top? Yes and no. Yes and no. Okay, now I'll see you brought more questions. <laughs> What's the yes and no? What do you mean by yes? Sure, it'd be fun, but I don't want to take the time. You don't want to take the time? It would be a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So what do you do for a living? Do real estate. Like you sell real estate or are you a broker? No, just an agent. What's your name? Derek. Eric. Eric. Derek and Eric. And Eric. Really? Yeah. You did that so you didn't have to keep as good a track? It's Derek, Eric, and Eric? Yeah, it's too easy. It is too easy. Well, my name is Super MLM Man. Super MLM Man. man. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> So, Eric, where do you live? We live here. You live here? Yeah. Have you always lived here? No. Where from? New York. Where? Bronx. Super. What brought you here? Military. Have you ever heard of the marketing business income opportunity called multi-level marketing, network marketing? No, I haven't. Have you ever heard of any companies like New Skin, USANA, Shackley, Evolve, Send Out Cards, Legal Shield? Uh, Amway, Herbalife, New Skin, any of those kind of companies? Yeah, I, I kind of heard of it before. Have you ever heard of the marketing term multi-level marketing or network marketing? No. no. So companies like Amway, Shackley, Mary Kay Cosmetics, Tupperware, any of those? Yeah, I've heard of those, yeah. Those guys. Okay, big question for you. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard of multi-level marketing or network marketing? Yes. What companies come to mind? Oh, that I don't know. <laughs> Guess. Coffee. Coffee? <laughs> Starbucks. Starbucks? <clears throat> Starbucks is a network marketing company. Uh, I'd assume so. Have you ever heard of the marketing business opportunity concept that people call multi-level marketing or network marketing? No idea. No. I haven't, no? No. Nope. Have you ever heard of the business income opportunity model that some people call multi-level marketing or network marketing? No. Anybody ever try to recruit you into one of those companies? No. Has anybody ever tried to recruit you to be a distributor in one of those companies? No. No. Never. Never. Have you ever heard of a company or any companies like, for example, uh, Shackley or Stella and Dot? Stella and Dot, yes. I used to work for Stella and Dot, too. Did you? Yeah. What did you do for Stella and Dot? Um, I was a stylist. Beautiful. So you were an actual distributor. Yes. And how long did you do that? Um, about a year. And why did you quit? I started working at Google. <laughs> and that probably took a lot of time and paid better? Exactly. Did you have fun as a stylist for Stella and Dot? Oh, yeah, definitely. And did you make any money? A little bit, yeah. Did you recruit any people? I did not, unfortunately. Uh, super MLM man here. Just just got off some of the big surf here on the west side of Waikiki, oh. south side of Waikiki. So we're uh, interviewing this gentleman from Switzerland, right? Right. And uh, what is your name? Pascal. Pascal. And Pascal, are you here on vacation? Yeah, I'm here for studying. So for me, it's half vacation, half studying. I'm in the EF school to learn English. Oh, EF school to learn English. 
Yeah, to learn English. Your English is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. My teacher says something else, but thank you. <laughs> well, I'll tell them I, I know about English. Have you ever heard of a business opportunity, an income opportunity called multi-level marketing or network marketing? No, not really. If there was an opportunity where you could work part-time 10 or 15 hours a week for four years and then make enough money in that four years to retire if you wanted to for the rest of your life, would that have any interest at all to you if it was true? I think no, because uh, I like to work. So for me, I will miss something when I get too much money or too much, yeah, I don't know. I have to work, so this is why I search a job that's more like a hobby. So I go there for my eight to ten hours a day, and it's okay. Have you ever heard of multi-level marketing or network marketing? No, I've heard of network marketing. So have you ever been recruited by any of those companies to sell for them? No. Nobody's ever tried to recruit you? Well, yeah, they tried to recruit, oh. but I didn't do it. What did they say to try to recruit you? I'll tell you about the benefits and uh, money and working part-time to make a full-time pay. And did you like the way they recruited you? No. So did you think they were telling you the truth? No. <laughs> and has anybody ever tried to recruit you, Faye? Yes, but Mary Kay. Mary Kay tried to recruit you. Yes. And why did you say no? Well, uh, I wasn't interested in uh, pushing a product that I didn't really believe in. So you, did you ever try Mary Kay? Not really. Okay. No, I, not, I really didn't try the product. And is that the only company that's ever tried to recruit you? It's not the only company that's tried to recruit me, but for one thing, well, one reason why, I don't like pushy, I don't like pushing, pushy. pushy people. <laughs> I don't want them to push it off on me. I think I'm going to push it back off on, on the consumer. Am I less threatening down here? Just a couple of questions. What is your name? The truth. <laughs> Can I get a dentist card instead of the Star Wars? Yes. Nancy. Nancy and? Kelly. And where are you from? Canada. Yep. Canada. Where in Canada? Calgary. Cold. Yep. Calgary. What do you do for a living? Flight attendant. For who? Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> sure. It doesn't matter. You're a flight. Are you both flight attendants? Yeah. Can I stand up now? Yeah. Oh, thank you. No trivia. No, this is not trivia. It's not trivia. I'm not going to set you up like Jay Leno sets people up. I won't do that. Okay. So, here's the question. Yeah. Have you ever heard of multi-level marketing or network marketing companies, opportunities? Yes. Any companies come to mind? Primerica Financial Services. Well, that just rolled right off your tongue, young lady. <laughs> How do you know so much about Primerica Financial Services? Because my family members work there. They work there? <laughs> they work there? Yes. In the office? Yes. So have you heard of any other companies besides Primerica? No. That's the only network marketing company you've ever heard? It's more like uh, Amway and I don't know any other ones. Do you know any of them? So what do you think about companies like Primerica and Amway? Well, I think people are successful. They want to be. But you got to be passionate about it. you got to want to do it or you won't succeed. Help. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. So have you ever, has anybody ever tried to recruit you into those companies? Yes. And what did they say to try to recruit you? Do you want to make money and never have to work ever again and support your family and like be financially free and live the dream? Did you believe them? A little bit. And did you like the way they tried to recruit you? No. What didn't you like about it? Uh, I felt violated. Like how? <laughs> <laughs> Dishonored? Uninterested. You weren't interested or they weren't interested in you? Probably both. So, do you think you'd ever, in your wildest imagination, consider joining a company like that? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Are you Maybe. No, I'm not. <laughs> I promise. I'll give you a hundred Starbucks cards if I'm... Is this like a survey? It is a survey. To, are you trying to get rid of market... <laughs> is this like... <laughs> are you trying to get rid of multi-level marketing? 
No, we are not trying to get rid of them. Actually, we are all multi-level marketing companies like Primerica and Amway and 2,000 other companies. We're different companies though. We're not in all in the same company. And we're trying to raise our colleagues level of awareness about how they try to recruit people is violating them. Feel violated. Um, I don't know. I think it's just like you just don't know the person and then all of a sudden they want to change your life and just rush right in and you're like, whoa, let's take a step back. Let's think about this for a minute. <laughs> Have you ever told him that? Hey, take a step back. Let's think about this for a minute. No, I don't remember. <laughs> Are you tired of this interview? Uh, well, well there's ha we're going to happy hour now. <laughs> Is happy hour more important than this interview? Well, like, not more important. I can always come back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You two were awesome. Keith, where are you from? Edmonton, Alberta. Edmonton. I'm from Coeur d'Alene. Nice to meet oh, you. I've been to Coeur d'Alene too. Beautiful nice. spot, isn't it? it is. Hey, so we have a couple of questions for sure. you today. What do you do for a living? I'm an engineering technologist for the city of Edmonton. An engineering technologist. What right. exactly is that? I design roads and uh, plan future roadways and subdivisions. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, this is a transition to a totally different subject. Okay. Have you ever heard of multi-level marketing or network marketing? I've heard of it, yes. So when I say that term, do any companies come to mind? Um, it's your interview. Um, let me think here. Uh, Amway. Amway. Okay, so now we're in the right domain. Any other companies besides Amway? Um, I think USANA does that too, I'm not sure. USANA does do that. Okay. So you're being candid. Stay with candid. Okay. How do you feel about how those companies do business? I don't know. It's kind of, some people like it and some people do well. It's not really for me, but uh, hey, if it works for some people, that's great. Have you ever been approached by any of those companies to be a distributor? Uh, yes. Did you like the way they approached you? Um, well, kind of, you know, you kind of feel, no, you feel pressured because it's kind of usually your buddies, eh? And they're into this and then they try to do it and they figure, well, because they're your buddies, they're going to get you to do it. So you kind of feel like, oh, I don't want to say no to my buddy, so you might feel inclined to help him out just because he's your friend. Have you ever been inclined to help your buddies out? Not that much, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Beautiful. Be more blunt. You hate those kind of companies. Ah, yeah. Keith! You <laughs> hate those kind of companies? Well, it's like... I guess he's mellowed as he's No, it's older. like, like uh, some of them are pretty... Like, Usana is a good product. Yeah. It's a, you good, it, it's a good product. I just kind of resent the way the multi-level, just buy it and sell it. And if it's a good product, it'll sell itself, right? So you don't like being recruited? That's, hey, that's, that's it. That, you nailed it on the head there. I guess it's why would you do something to someone else that you don't like done to you, to you kind of a thing. Good point. What do you guys do in the military? Uh, I'm a mortarman, infantry. So. You like shoot mortars at people? Yes, I do. Is that fun? <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> what do you do, CJ? I'm a Black Hawk crew chief. It's fun stuff. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Have you guys ever heard of multi-level marketing, network marketing, business, or income opportunities? Yes, I have. Network marketing. Not really, no. Okay, I'm going to stick with him for a second. Right. What companies come to mind? Um, for network marketing, I've heard of people like Vima and um, there's another one I forget the name, but uh, yeah. Vima. Do you know what Vima sells? Uh, a nutrition energy energy yeah, drink. energy drink. So have you ever bought any Vima products? Uh, I've tried some. Did you like them? They're they're all right, not bad. Did you ever sign up to sell them? No. Anybody ever try to get you to sign up to sell them? Yes. What did they say to you to try to get you to sell them? Uh, they talked about. Um, you know the business structure, um, how the how many opportunities that you could have if you decided to go through with it. Um, you know promotions, cars, stuff like that. So. Any of that appeal to you? Uh, somewhat, but I'm a little skeptical. You didn't believe them. What would they have had to done to convince you that they were being honest about the opportunity? Mm, show up with some, you know, show me some money or something. Show you the money. 
Show you the money. <laughs> if you could, now I'm not talking about you whether you believe me, okay? Just assume that you believe me, but I'm not asking you to, I don't. Just assume you do. If you could do something for about 10 or 15 hours a week for about four years, keeping in mind that four years is gonna come anyway, and at the end of that four years, you're making four or five, six, seven thousand dollars a month for the rest of your life, whether you work or not. You understand the concept? If you believed that was possible, would that interest you? Oh yeah, definitely. Interest you, CJ? Oh yeah. So, is that worth 30 minutes of your time to read a book about it? Would be, yeah. I'd say so, yeah. Okay, we're gonna give you a book, and that's the grand prize of tonight. Read it or not, up to you. When you get done with the book, you can email one of these people here and tell them what you thought. No pressure, just possibility. Right on, pleasure meeting you guys. Honor, too. Grateful for your service. It is probably no surprise to you the responses even Super MLM Man gets to asking people about what we do. They do not understand the term network marketing, MLM, or direct sales. They do think they understand what a pyramid scheme is. Unfortunately, they are so misinformed. Added to how people perceive what we do is the challenge of how we have done it for almost 70 years. Hype, mystery, avoidance, fear of loss, ridiculous claims, and downright lying to people has added to people's perception that they do not want to do what we do. But still, millions of people join the ranks of network marketing every year. There must be something about what we do that they love. There is lots of things, the same things that attracted you. So how do we educate people, show them what is possible, show them how we can do it in a way that's fun, honorable, authentic, and trustworthy? At Bliss Business, we call it the authentic networker. We teach and model states of being and philosophies that are highly attractive. States of being like being curious about other people whether they are a candidate for our business or not. Being present for people when they are talking, no matter how many thoughts are running through our mind. Honoring people's opinions and decisions instead of arguing with them. Trusting trust as our primary strategy versus manipulation and typical sales stuff. And most importantly, just keeping it real. Keeping us real. Authenticity is our secret sauce, and it is so simple and easy to be authentic. All you have to do is trust it. I've dedicated my life to educating the public on the epic and potent possibilities of building an asset income in network marketing, and most importantly, to teach network marketers how to do it in a way that leaves a positive impression in the minds of our market. Join me in this crusade to change the way network marketers network and market. Read the four-year career, share it, and go to school on The Authentic Network Marketer.